In the next part of the experiment, we're going to recrystallize our crude product, our crude aspirin, and we're told to prepare a water bath that's at about 75 uh, degrees centigrade, which this one is. Into that, we're going to introduce 15 centimeters cubed of ethanol in a boiling tube. So measure out our ethanol. This is the solvent, recrystallizing solvent. This will dissolve the aspirin. And that's placed into the boiling tube. And that goes into the hot water bath. Now ethanol boils at 78 degrees centigrade. So with a temperature of 74 there, we shouldn't see any boiling. We're trying to avoid boiling the solvent. The next part is um, to add crude product to the ethanol, it gets up to temperature, and we're asked to avoid scraping any paper. So you just scrape in your crude aspirin, you can see as it's going in, it is in fact dissolving in the ethanol there, which is what we want. at this stage if you're calculating a yield the temptation is to try and scrape every last bit from the Buchner funnel if you do that do try and not take any of the filter paper with you tube slightly to careful not to spill any of the ethanol we won't get it all into solution but we will get most of it there I think and then that needs to go into the hot water bath to say is still at uh, well it's just below 70 now so we'll add some hot water but before we do that you can see that we've removed most of the solid you could probably spend a little time extracting a little more but I'll try not to scrape the filter paper there So let's increase the temperature of the water bath slightly. Temperature now 70. And we're just trying to get our product to dissolve. A little bit. So we're just going to remove a little of the water. And add some more hot water to that. So there we are coming up to 73 there now. You could stir with a glass rod here. Uh, almost all dissolved. Just waiting for the heat to transfer to the hot solvent. In the meantime we can remove the the funnel here. Let's remove that. Push that rod on. flask and uh, side on flask and funnel in case we need to recover any of the liquid that passes through there. Again, 
connect to the pump. And very nearly all dissolved. Temperature's still 72. And we keep it in the water bath. And there, now it's totally dissolved. Let's just move the thermometer out of the way. So we've dissolved our crude product in the ethanol for recrystallization. Uh, so the product and the impurities have dissolved. The next thing we need to do is to crystallize the material out again. So we've got about 40 centimeters cubed of cold water here in the 40 centimeters cubed approximately of cold water in the conical flask. Remember we had 15 centimeter cubed of ethanol in the tube. So next stage of crystallization is to pour the solution of aspirin and ethanol into the cool water and you should be able to predict what is going to happen. So we had some immediate crystals form there and then they uh, dissolved. And again, the crystallization, we got a few signs of solid trying to form there. Crystallization might take a minute or two. So let's leave it still to crystallize. if you don't think you had enough. And the final technique that organic chemists sometimes use to encourage crystals to form is to scratch the side of the flask with a glass rod, although we have got signs of solid form there, I think, on the inside. So just encourage crystallization by scratching there you're creating some randomness some center for nucleation of the solid probably needs to cool down as well course with slow crystallization we're expecting to form larger crystals and that's the object of the exercise Thank you. 
well, for the amount of aspirin that we produce here, we probably use a little too much ethanol. So that needs to cool. We could heat to remove some of the solvent, but that would uh, risk it decomposing our aspirin. So really it's a case of um, letting the solvent evaporate and allowing the material to crystallize. So we'll come back in a while when that's had time to do just that. Having given the aspirin about an hour to crystallize, we can now see that we've got some crystals in the bottom of the flask, but we still probably want to evaporate some of the solvent off to improve the yield. If we compare the amount of the sediment there with the initial starting material, uh, we can see that we've got rather a low yield. We'll filter anyway and uh, save the filtrate and uh, see if we can crystallize some more product from that with time. So the same procedure as before. see we've collected quite a yield of recrystallized material there we can perform a melting point on and compare to our the melting point of a standard and our crude product so that's the preparation of aspirin using an additional elimination reaction by reacting ethanoic anhydride with 2-hydroxybenzene, benzoic acid. <laughs>